Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Tobias and welcome to my brand new review channel. And today what I have for you guys is a review of this Wimaxit. 10.5 inch portable monitor. It should have a 1920 by 1280 full HD screen. So it's going to be a 1610 aspect ratio and it should be like a plug and play kind of design. You should be able to connect it directly to your laptop or your computer via a USB-C cable. You don't need to install any drivers or anything like that and it should just immediately work. It has built-in speakers, a foldable kickstand and an aluminum body. So let's go ahead and unbox this then I'll try it out and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open this up. And if you guys do like this video at any point or if it helps you out, I'd really appreciate it. If you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. If you would like to see more of my unboxings and reviews in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. And here we go, guys. Here's the screen. Whoa, it's super thin. Whoa. All right, guys, let's open this up. I need a I think I'll need a knife for this. Whoa, this thing is way thinner than I thought it would be. I mean, it says the body is made of aluminum. It kind of feels like it's aluminum, but when I tap on it, it kind of sounds like plastic. But it probably is aluminum. All right, check that out, guys. Just look at that. Let's compare it to an iPad really quick. I have like an older iPad here. Yeah, check that out, guys. It's Oh, actually, it's a little bit bigger than this iPad and the thinness is it's about the same as an iPad. So so, yeah, guys, it's about the same size as an iPad. Um, I'm not sure what size the screen is on this one, but yeah, the bodies are about the same size. Right here, it looks like we have a plug. Little cloth. Contact info. We have a, this is probably a, let me see. One side's USB-C, the other side's USB-A. Uh, this is the desktop stand right here. What do we have? USB-C cable. And I think this one is an HDMI cable. Let me just double check. Yeah, it looks like HDMI. All right, let's go ahead and set this thing up. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have the second monitor set up. It took me a second to set it up and I'll tell you why in a second. But first I just wanna show you guys how I have it configured. So I just placed the Wimaxit monitor underneath my computer's screen. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and switch the position right here. Okay, now if I move my mouse down, it will move on to the Wimaxit screen right here. And then what I did is I went into the display on the Wimaxit monitor, the display settings for this monitor, and I switched it to 960 by 640. The default is, let me see, it is, the default is like this, which is the 1920 by 1280, but I zoomed in on it because I wanted the screen to be bigger right and then what i did is something that i've always wanted to do i've just never done this is i took my mixer from logic pro logic pro is the program where i'm recording my voice right now and i took the mixer which is usually like this and i went ahead and brought it over to the second screen so that i could have the mixer down here i think that will be super handy and then let me go ahead and zoom in on the wimax screen if you hit this side button right here, it's the little scroll wheel. It will allow you to like make adjustments to the picture, like the brightness, the contrast, the black equalizer, color effects, information, reset. I mean, there's like a whole bunch of different settings you can go through. And then if you wanna get out, there's an exit button on the left-hand side of the screen. So let me just go ahead and try to turn up the brightness a little bit. So I wanna go in here, so I push in the wheel, brightness, um, yes, I want to bring up the brightness. 
As you can see, the screen is getting brighter. Hopefully that's showing on my camera. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good brightness. But I mean, the quality of the screen, it's pretty good. And yeah, guys, I think it's pretty cool having the dual monitors. It's its like a pretty cool portable thing. I only have the USB type C USB cable plugged into it. And I'll get into why I was a bit confused in a second. But just off the bat for what it is, I think it's decent. So anyways, guys, I don't really know what else to show with this. I don't have like a gaming console to try it out with so when it comes down to my final review of the Wimaxit portable screen you know I gotta say it does what it's supposed to do I can't really complain about that however for the price I feel like it could be a little better the first thing is that the stand that it comes on I feel like it's like just not the best quality stand it feels like it's pretty cheap it's just like very plasticky and i don't know it just kind of feels weak my other complaint is that there were no instructions included with the monitor luckily it was pretty self-explanatory but i started going crazy when i first started trying to set it up because when i was trying to plug in the usb type c cable to my computer and to the monitor it just wasn't working and i couldn't figure out why the usb type c cable felt like it didn't fit right into my computer and it also felt like it didn't fit quite right into the monitor what i found out is that i really had to push the cable quite hard into the input to get it to click in there and then sure enough the monitor worked i don't like when cables are like that i think that they should fit in there just quite easily i don't feel like you should ever have to use any kind of force to get a cable to fit inside a usb slot but i kind of felt like that's how this cable was and i think it's just because it's a lower quality cable Cable, but considering that this costs $129, I think they should go ahead and throw in a higher quality cable. When it comes to the build quality of the screen itself, you know, I guess it probably is aluminum. It's really hard to tell just by touching it. Sometimes aluminum can feel plasticky, so it probably is aluminum, but at the same time, considering this is a portable screen, I might feel a little nervous just like throwing this in a backpack like this. I would be curious to see what would happen if like something heavy were to sit on top of the screen. It doesn't feel quite as durable as what an iPad feels like. For example, an iPad, even without a case on it, I would feel pretty confident in just throwing an iPad inside a backpack and not really worrying about it too much even if it doesn't have a case on it this i'm not so sure it doesn't feel quite as strong as an ipad and even when i go like this i kind of feel like i'm pushing the screen in a little bit and you can even kind of hear when i'm pushing the screen in so honestly guys i'm not sure what would happen if i just threw this in a backpack and brought it with me places. But aside from those things, guys, the monitor totally did what it was supposed to do. And I don't know what this is, guys. When I shake the monitor, I feel like I kind of hear something. It might be part of the switch. Oh, you know what? It's probably that switch right there. And I almost forgot, guys, the speakers, the dual speakers on the monitor. They're actually quite quiet. Even if you turn the volume up all the way, the speakers are still quieter than my iPhone. But personally, I wouldn't really be using this thing for speakers. And it does have a headphone jack, so you can use it with headphones or plug in other speakers. So not a huge deal but I thought I should mention that. So I know I said a lot, but when it comes down to it, it did what it's supposed to do. I just feel like for the price, they should have included a better stand and a better USB type C cable. But aside from that, it worked perfectly fine. Anyways, guys, I would love to hear what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about this portable monitor down in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. Once again, I will have the Amazon page for this down in the description below in case you would like to check that out. And if you guys did like this video or if it helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. If you would like to see more unboxing and review videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. I do have a main YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and put the link to it down in the description below and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace!